Hi folks, I'm Trisha Friedman, and part of what I've really been enjoying about the work that we're doing at Shifting Schools with Generative AI is we're getting lots of different amazing educators submitting some of their questions to us about what it's going to mean to move forward, to approach um, this moment of transition and transformational learning with generative AI. So I wanted to actually do a video response to a question that I think is incredibly important. And that's the one that you see here. How might we make it a little less fear inducing to introduce generative AI to the broader school community? I think that a lot of us are focused on doing our own learning, helping our students uh, develop AI literacy. And I think we need to be thinking about the entire school community and being really inclusive. Now, one of the strategies that I'm a big fan of is having a space where folks can leave some anonymous questions, some anonymous thoughts, because if I'm really worried about a change, it might, it might be a little bit difficult for me to feel like I can have my concern attached to my name. So we actually have a free Shifting Schools collection of Jamboard templates that are great for just collecting lots of different thoughts. You don't have to use these Jamboard templates. You might find that the frameworks of them are useful and that you have a physical space or that you use something like a Google Doc or Padlet. Before I talk about the Jamboard templates that I think work really well for this, I think it's also really important to be modeling and discussing lots of examples of our use of generative AI tools that are not necessarily connected really precisely and directly to our work, but also model how these tools can be useful um, in our kind of day to day lives or how they help us with some of the community events that we do so that we're thinking about seeing these tools as useful more broadly. So an example of that is the one that you see here. Um, I asked ChatGPT, you know, many schools, many events, many professional learning days will have a theme. And so I asked ChatGPT to please design a lunch that amplifies the theme of Beyond Borders. You can try this out with any theme. If you've got a big school event coming up, um, or you've got a family event coming up, then uh, you know if there's kind of a theme around that, try this out where you ask ChatGPT to design a meal for it. So this is just a portion of the answer, and I think it's really interesting to see uh, the interpretation of the theme and some conversation around it, right? Um, you know, I can take this further and also ask ChatGPT, of course, for a shopping list. I can ask it to tell me more information about what it thinks I would need in terms of time spent. But the playing around with the recipes can be really fun. This is something that I've been doing over time just to see how it might be improving um, with its recipe generation. But I love this idea of asking it for a thematic meal, because I think this is a great conversation piece with a group in terms of like, you know, what do we think about this? Does it really unpack that theme or not? So once I've maybe modeled a few uh, low stakes, fun examples of using it, one of our Jamboard templates is what we call at Shifting Schools, the Mighty Mites, where we have four quadrants and each quadrant uh, is really about asking about potential. So top left, how might we learn about? Top right, when might it be ideal to? Bottom left, what might be the one most important? And the bottom right, where else might we go to? So uh, again, I think an important question whenever we are working on new learning is also to, to find out more about the context in which folks feel they have the capacity to learn. So if we're thinking about the when might it be ideal to learn more, if I'm working with parents and caretakers, um, do they want more videos where they can watch on their own according to their own schedule? Do they want to get together with other parents and caretakers to discuss what they're hearing their children say about these tools? Um, you know, I think the best that we can do to meet 
folks context, the more likely we are to have a successful learning experience. So where can we be really flexible? And also just simply demonstrate, look, I, I want to know what's going to support you in this learning. Um, do folks want us to bring more books into our library? There's some excellent children's literature out there that's very accessible about AI. Is that something that um, different audiences at your community would like? One of the other Jamboard templates that I think is really good for gathering um, some thinking, some questioning that can be done anonymously, this is using our use fuse kangaroos protocol where maybe I would have modeled a way that I'm using a tool like ChatGPT, and then I'd invite folks to share when are they going to use it? What are some of the other possible um, uses that they see? The fuse is asking folks not necessarily to take on the whole idea, but where is there a connection for maybe part of the idea that they can connect with? The kangaroos is where we're inviting people to share their questions. How do they need to bounce around a few more ideas? Um, and I think that one's really essential because people are going to need a different amount of time and a different amount of support um, i think to get their head around these new tools right and how quickly this change is happening so i think the more open we can be to saying we want to know what questions you have it's not just okay to ask questions it's expected that you'll have questions and we're going to really welcome those concerns. Um, I, I think if people feel like they don't have a space or a place to address their fears or to feel their emotions, you're going to have some people just simply saying, I'm not interested, I'm not willing to explore this change. But this is really an opportunity for us, I think, to model that piece that we ask of our young learners all the time. And that's understanding and reckoning that during times of change, there can be big feelings. And when we have big feelings, we need processing time. We need to know that our concerns are valued and will be heard. So again, the link to this guide, you'll be able to get that over there in the description for this video. And it doesn't have to be exactly one of those Jamboard templates, but I think it's important maybe to have some space where you're collecting questions from different members of your community because it's also going to give you i think good insight into the kinds of support that folks are really interested in um, where and when would they like to know how to use these tools in what contexts and then you also might want to have some sort of space to celebrate small wins Will different members from your school community be willing to submit and say, hey, here's a success story I have. I think all of these things help a school community tell the story of this transformational learning that we are doing. So I hope that uh, one of those templates helps you think about the way that you'll collect and honor questions and that you might also gather and celebrate small wins.